Hey everybody, it's Sharon here from GameMeAct.com. Here we are today back in Jackbox Party Pack 6, grabbing the Runaways achievement. This one is going to be done in a game of Trivia Murder Party 2. You are going to need three players for this. Before you head into the game, make sure you tweak your settings a bit. Make sure audience is turned on. Make sure you set no writing slash drawing on, and then turn off all of the optional mini games as well as the Madness GIF. And also make sure you set your max players to 2. Once you have that in place, make sure you start up a server and then make sure you hop in. Make sure you sign in two of your players and then your third one is going to serve as your audience. This achievement is to win a game using the audience. So what we are going to do is we are going to load it up. Make sure the audience counter says one. Sometimes the audience servers don't work too well in this game. So make sure everyone's in before you actually start. So once you hop in, your goal is to make sure you make it to the final round with at least one player alive. So the fastest way to get there is to make sure you answer correctly with the player you want to keep alive. In this case, we are going to pick player one, and then you want to answer incorrectly with the second player. The reason for that is you are going to be sent to the killing room at the end of the round regardless. So might as well try to get to the killing room in the first question so we save ourselves a bunch of time. So during these killing room segments where we are sending the second player to the killing room on purpose, you want to try your best to keep them alive. Once again, it doesn't really matter if they die since we are going to kill them off later anyways, but the longer they live, the higher chance the first player can stay alive. So if you can, try your best to keep them alive. Obviously, some of the mini games are going to be based in pure chance. So if you run into a situation like that where you have no choice of whether they live or die, if they do die, it's not going to be that big of a deal. If you do run into a situation where the second player does die off, you are under more pressure now as you need to keep the first player alive. So even though the second player turns into a ghost after they go down, you still need a living person to be sent to the killing room in order to end the round. So when you get to a situation like this, when you get to your questions, just make sure you answer incorrectly with both people, and then both of you should be sent to the killing room. Obviously, you need the living person to be sent to the killing room to advance the round, but this time you want to try your best to keep the living person, which in this case is going to be player one, the player we are trying to keep alive. You obviously want to keep them alive. So once again, it's going to come down to pure luck if you do draw those luck based mini games. However, in this situation, you are more likely than not to draw a mini game where the outcome is going to be controlled by the other players. So in this case, you want to make sure you use your second player who should be a ghost at this point. If they do get the opportunity to keep the first player alive, you want to take that chance. However the situation goes in your game, the important thing that you want to pay attention to is what floor you are on. Once you get to the fourth floor, you definitely want to kill off the second player at this point. The reason for that is any floors above the fourth floor, once you get down to a single living player, you are going to advance to the last round. And once you are there, you obviously need to start picking up the audience member and start playing as them. So by now you should be in a situation like this, you should have one player alive one player dead and the audience member still kicking around you are going to get past floor number four and then arrive at the final round it's going to play as kind of a lightning round where your goal is to try to answer a bunch of questions in quick succession in order to try to make the exit basically you're going to get a tutorial on how the game works you are going to just answer the question with the one living player and then the game is going to open it up as a free-for-all for all of the dead players as well as the audience so any living players are going to get a head start so what you basically want to do is you want to try your best to advance the living player as well as the audience member so you want to answer correctly with the audience member first and then you want to answer correctly on the still living player then what you want to do is you want to get the question wrong on any ghost players the reason for that is if any ghosts advance to the point where they get to a living player they are going to steal that living player's life and pretty much mess things up so your goal is to first try to get the audience member to catch up to the living player and then at the end you want the audience member to surpass them you want to keep advancing until you get to the last section the reason for that is there is going to be some darkness that's creeping up on you and if you let that darkness touch any of the players it will eliminate you so it's going to be okay to eliminate any dead players however you definitely want to keep the living player as well as the audience player alive you can use the pause and look up the answer online if you are having trouble. It also freezes the timer so you aren't in too terrible of a rush. 
But the most important thing you want to keep in mind is once the first player gets to the door, they are going to put up a barrier. What this barrier signifies is you have to get a perfect answer in order to escape. You want to make sure you stop answering correctly with that player. So as you can see here, we are going to stop answering correctly on player one, and we are just going to answer correctly on the audience player. So make sure you answer correctly on the audience player, and then make sure you answer incorrectly on the living player. That way, the living player isn't going to advance, and the audience member can catch up to them. So it should be at a tie at this point with the next question taking the game. So in a situation like this, you just want to answer correctly with the audience member and once again answer incorrectly with the actual player. So make sure you do the exact same thing you did with the last question so the audience member can basically win the game. Keep in mind, once again, to pass the barrier, you have to get a perfect answer so you can't make any mistakes here. So make sure you answer correctly on the audience member, making no mistakes, and make sure you answer incorrectly on the first player. If you did this all right, you should pass through the barrier as the audience player, leaving the first player behind to get eaten up by the darkness. But more importantly, this should end the game with the audience member as the winner and more importantly, you should be good for your achievement. There it is. It's going to be for 50 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.